So the OBGs did not refer me. In fact, they told me that this kind of treatment would not work for me. And which I get because I work in healthcare reimbursement. And if the OBG refers you out, that's all that money he would have gotten for the surgery out the door. But it's not really doing the best thing for the patient or letting the patient choose or telling them what all of their options are. Um, I decided to come here because over the past year, knowing that I had fibroids, I'd researched it. And um, once I saw what the treatments were offered on the Fibroid Treatment Center website, I researched all of those fibroid treatment options and I wanted the embolization because it was the most minimally invasive. And I would get to retain all of my organs. It's kind of like Jenga. Like once you start pulling out organs, yeah. other organs fill in that space. And sometimes it's not, it's not pretty, especially by the time a woman gets to be in her 70s. It gets, it's not good. Uh, my OBGYN actually referred me to a different doctor uh, located closer to where I live in Corona. But a year earlier I did my own research. Um, because of my symptoms I went ahead and did my own investigating of what I could possibly be dealing with. So I found his website and I just kind of kept it knowing that I would look into it you know as I needed it. So I had his website already so when it finally came to the point where I just couldn't handle the symptoms anymore, that's when I scheduled the appointment. But I knew I was gonna come here. Yes, my OBGYN did refer me here to the Fibroid Treatment Center. She um, actually recommended this after I expressed some concerns with the hysterectomy and she recommended maybe checking out the Fibroid Treatment Center. She referred me specifically to Dr. Harris to um, look into the options here and what they could do for me based on my case.